What is up guys, it is the Sound Alchemist, and today we're back, bringing you 40 facts on the Warhammer 40k universe. Today we are diving into the fan lore by Man God Talos, and his lore is called The Lone Demon of Barbadensis. I believe that's how you pronounce it. B-A-R-B-A-D-E-N-S-I-S. Barbadensis. Barbadensis. <laughs> but anyway guys, uh, if you guys want to send us your own lore, uh, hit us up on our Facebook page or email it to us at one mind syndicate the number one at gmail.com. So without further ado guys, let's dive into this demonic lore. So the planet of Barbadensis was the only planet in the Peel star system. The star system was found floating just outside the Eye of Terror, sometime in the 41st millennium, a previously undiscovered part of the galaxy. The leading theory on how the planet's creation came is mostly unknown, other than it was a chaos planet mostly likely created in the warp and somehow forced into the material world. The most odd thing about this dwarf planetoid was that it had curiously pink glow from orbit, and upon further inspection, the pink glow was discovered to be covered almost entirely in pink tulips. The reason why a ruinous power would use their powers to create such an oddity is unknown. But what is known is that there was a single sentient being on this planet, a corn bloodthirster, but one unlike any seen before. Instead of the traditional blood-red skin tone known to come with every corn demon, this particular one was pink, with a half-blue face. This baffled any who came to see him. Instead of traditionally killing this oblivious abomination to the Imperium of Man, the crew of the Adeptus Mechanicus, Commissar Sadi John, and with the help of the 15th Aegina Prestige Imperial Guard Regiment, they were given the order to observe the actions of this lone demon, and to see how the planet reacted to various testings. While running standard Imperial procedures, the lone demon found the camp and charged towards it with a deep hatred in its eyes, as it was wholly obliterated by hellfire of heavy lasguns and mortar fire. As the men were finishing up the test and getting ready to leave, and bombarded the cursed planet, they noticed the tulips had all bloomed, and they also noticed a second demon identical to the first burst forth from the ground and approach their ship. It stopped momentarily to do the strangest and most bizarre thing seen on an A-War planet. It looked at the crater of ash and burnt tulips, and it wept for these flowers. When the men saw the demon cry, they were instilled with sadness for what they had done. None of them knew why they were sad, but they speculated that it was the ruinous powers of this planet that caused them to feel remorse for what they did. Shortly after breaking orbit, they did not bombard the planet like instructed. They simply just left the lone demon to itself on this tiny, isolated planet of pink tulips. Those who know about this tale can only speculate as to what ruinous powers could be so evil to create a planet of tulips and a dark creature such as this demon. The leading theory was perhaps that Slanesh had created a garden on Barbanensis for this demon or perhaps Zeech had created his attempt of a corn lesser demon. But alas, these are all wild speculations. And with that being said, this brings us to the end of this fan lore. So all in all, before I continue on with this, I just want to say, please help me pronounce Barbadnensis. <laughs> I know I'm butchering that word, but uh, let me know in the comments how to uh, phonetically pronounce that. And second of all, Comment down below as to what you guys thought about Manga Talos, or Mangata Talos' story. He does go on to say at the end of his story that this is his first uh, attempt at making a Warhammer lore from scratch, and that he's pretty new to the Warhammer universe in general. So, that being said, I just want to let you know that um, your story is pretty cool, although bloodthirst, uh, Bloodthirsters, they're more about, you know, bloodshed, anger, that kind of thing. So seeing one on a planet that's kind of uh, not going into war or anything like that, you know, with tulips and whatnot, that might be more of a Slaneshi thing. But uh, all in all, um, you'll get there. Just dive into the lore and you'll see as to what Chaos God aligns with what. But uh, yeah, good, good attempt for your first story. 
Again, guys, let him know down in the comments as to what places um, or how he can start to dive into all this 40k lore. There's tons of it. Black Library, you got a whole bunch of online sources, you got your codex, lexicanums, that kind of thing. So it's a vast, it's a vast, vast uh, history behind 40k. Tons of story, tons of lore. And um, yeah, the more you dive into it, the more you'll appreciate the epicness that is 40k. So again, guys, if you have your own lore that you want us to read, hit us up on Facebook or at our uh, email, and uh, we might put up your lore. So again, guys, this is all I have for today, and please stay tuned because we got more 40k videos coming for you. This is the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Oh,